Emily O'Hara Ratajkowski was born on the 7th of June, 1991, to two artistic parents, with her father, John David Ratajkowski, being a painter, and her mother, Kathleen Bagley, an English language professor and writer. Emily is an American model and actress who is possibly best recognized from her appearance as topless in Robin Thicke's Blurred Lines video. So, just how rich is Emily Ratajkowski? Celebrity.money estimates that Emily's net worth is over $8 million. She has earned her wealth during her career in acting and modeling, now spanning more than 10 years. Emily was born in Westminster, London, England, but raised in California. She has Polish, Irish, German, and English ancestry, and her father is Catholic, while her mother is Jewish. She attended San Diego Academy in San Diego, California, but she also spent some of her childhood in Ireland and Mallorca, Spain. Eventually, side by side with her education, Emily took steps toward her modeling and acting careers in Los Angeles. Emily Ratajkowski is considered one of the most talented and so sought after models nowadays. However, Emily played her first role in a production of The Little Match Girl at the school theater in Solana Beach, California. After she was told that modeling might be the door to acting, she started her modeling career when she was 14 years old. After working with photographer Tony Duran, she became recognized in the modeling world. She took her first steps in her acting career with the short movie Andrew's Alteration in 2001, when she had the role of a young girl. Then in 2005, she appeared again in the movie A Year and a Day. Later in 2009, Emily decided to concentrate on being a full-time model and started to do nude photographic shoots with Jonathan Letter and worked for Fredericks of Hollywood as a model. Her net worth was rising steadily. Her first appearance in music videos was in Tao Cruz's Fast Car in 2012. However, probably the most important point in Emily's career was her appearance topless in Robin Thicke's Blurred Lines music video in 2013, which certainly had a very positive effect on her net worth both then and later. Emily really started to gain fame when she was labeled a sex symbol as in 2013's Esquire magazine nominated her as Woman of the Year. She was listed among the 20 hottest sex symbols by Rolling Stone magazine, then again appeared topless on Carney and Rodfield's magazine cover and in erotic scenes with Victoria's Secret angel Carly Kloss. In the 50th anniversary swimsuit issue in February 2014, Sports Illustrated named Emily as one of its 12 rookies, following in April of 2014 being named the fourth sexiest woman in the world, ranked by FHM magazine. Of course, her net worth also rose substantially with this broad exposure. Subsequently, the actor Ben Affleck encouraged the producer David Fincher to consider Emily for the Gone Girl movie, and consequently she played the role of Andy Hardy in this movie. Days after the Gone Girl movie finished shooting, she was announced as the cover girl for the November 2014 GQ magazine. However, after appearing on the cover of FHM in November of 2015, she said that her picture was published without her consent. Emily had her first leading role in the musical drama movie We Are Your Friend in August of 2015 and had a co-starring role in the movie Entourage in 2015. And her latest notable appearances have been as 2016 as a guest star in the TV series Easy and playing Jessica Weintraub in the 2017 film Cruise, which certainly helped her net worth. In her personal life, Emily was dating businessman Andrew Dryden from 2013 and they separated in 2014. Since then, Emily has been in an ongoing relationship with musician Jeff Magid, 